everyone! It is June and it's time for a new freebie. A thank you to viewers and subscribers. You are making this channel grow and I appreciate you so, so much. So be sure to snag this before July when it goes into the shop and I will leave a link in the description below both for the freebie and also to the shop so you can get last month's freebie. If you missed it while it was free, you can still get it. It's in the shop now. Um, so, uh, but do hurry up and grab these. Also, in today's video, we're going to make a brush that goes along with this set, and I'll show you what kind of inspires me and help you get going with creating a brush to go along with this set. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we're starting out with uh, Procreate on one side and Pinterest on the other side for inspiration. And so that I don't forget, I wanted to let you know that I have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 DPI for um, Procreate. Uh, and that translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And I just like to work in that size when creating brush. Most of my projects are limited to a 12 by 12 size. So for printing, this works out nicely. It's high resolution. I really like Pinterest for inspiration and I really love the look of sort of embroidery and beadwork and things like that um, in clothing. I think it can be really beautiful and I have to tell you that around the world there are just different takes on this and so Pinterest is a wonderful site for getting inspiration for all sorts of what I call fabric trimming and so there's ribbons that you could use and there's embroidery and there's colors and just a lot of different things and so I have this board out there on Pinterest and I will leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out um, but this is kind of what inspires me let's go ahead and choose one of these images I'm thinking yeah this one right here I love this little sort of floral uh, pattern that you know goes down the length and creating nice stripes on this coat I think it's very cool so let's go ahead and make something that's like that we're not going to duplicate it exactly we're just going to make something very similar that we can use in our own illustrations so uh, one of the things I'm going to look at here is I'm just going to say look at like okay the shape of this particular flower it looks like well it's probably little embroidered knots actually and then there's sequins in there we're not going to duplicate the sequins but i do like the fact that there are it looks like there's eight one two three four five six seven eight yep eight little dots and then there's a dot in the center sort of uh connecting them now it looks like there might either be sequins yeah it looks like there's a sequin or beads um also connecting them but we're just going to go very generic here we're going to make this as simple as possible so i'm actually thinking i'm going to stick with the eight dots and i think i'm going to put two dots littler next to it and that's what i'm going to do to create my shape for my brush so let's go ahead and get to it we're just kind of take this off to the side there and then i'm going to go over to my palette here and i'm going to double tap down here in the darker colors to get black and just to confirm it's black we're going to go over to our value view and look at the hex value and it's all zeros and that's how you know you have black okay then i'm going to go over to my brushes and this is the set this is the trimmings set that is available for free for the month of june and again thank you so much viewers and subscribers of my channel you are helping my channel grow and i appreciate you so so much so thank you again for that and i hope you enjoy this set okay now let's get back to creating another brush to go with that set <laughs> we're going to go down to um, the calligraphy set that comes standard with procreate and i'm just going to select this monoline tool for drawing and let's see what size do I want? oh yeah it's fine it's fine at the full size Okay, so let's go ahead and create our first circle for our group of eight circles that create our floral shape here. So we're going to just draw something a little bit smaller, something like that, and I'm just going to hold it to invoke quick shapes. And I'm going to tap it with one finger to make sure it's a circle, and then I'm just going to go ahead and fill that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is create a duplicate, and I'm going to move that. Whoops! I actually have selected both layers. I just want one. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to move this sort of you know, right next to it, right about like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and drag that over, tap duplicate, select that, and kind of put it sort of side by side there. And I'm looking for, I have a snapping with a distance of three on, and what I'm looking for are the little blue lines that tell me that these two shapes are lined up with each other. That's what I want. Okay, gonna create another one. And I'm just gonna move it right up here, and again, I want 
it to line up with the shape over here. And I'm going to bring it in just a little bit so it has sort of the same look. Okay, that's perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead with this one selected. I'm just going to gently drag and drop the other layers so that they're all selected. And then I'm going to create a group. And then I'm going to tap that group. And I'm going to drag it over and select duplicate. And now with this new group selected, I'm going to tap my transform tool. And I'm going to flip vertically. And then I'm just going to position this just like that so that it's a nice sort of circle here. Okay. Now, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, you know, uh, compress these just like that. I'm going to select both of those layers. I'm going to select my transform tool and I'm just going to move this over just a little bit, but I do want it, I want it uh, vertically centered here. So I'm just going to do something like that. And now I'm going to create two little dots right here. So I need to create a new, let's see, I need a new layer on top here. And then I'm going to just go ahead and draw a smaller little circle right here. And then I'm going to tap to make it a circle. And I'm just going to do like that. And I think I want another one right next to that. But actually this feels like, like it's too far over. So let's go ahead and move that just really quickly. I'm just going to move it just a little closer there. Okay. And then I'm going to drag that over to the left and tap duplicate and select my transform tool. And I'm going to just move it into position right about there. See the thinking about the two shapes right next to each other like that, the little gap. And that seems about right. Actually, this feels maybe a little too big. Um, compared to these little dots. So let me try something here just really quickly. I'm going to select this group and this group. I'll select my transform tool with uniform selected. I'm actually just going to bring down the size just a little bit. Yeah, I, th I do feel like that's probably a better shape or size, I mean. So, okay, now I'm just lining that up so that they're all centered together like that. There's a blue line running through. And now let's select them all. So these two are already selected. Let's go ahead and drag these over and select everything. Select my transform tool. And now I'm going to look for the golden line. So these are now vertically uh, centered. And so let's get the whole shape horizontally. There we go, right there. So we've got two golden lines. We know we're good. And what that means is where it's centered, that is where the shape will be on the tip of our pencil when we're laying down the shape. So if you'd like to move this over so that it's more centered because that makes more sense for you, go ahead and do that. But that's what this is doing. We're, we're getting everything lined up so I know sort of where to expect it when I'm laying it down with my pencil. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is cheat a little bit. I'm going to come over to my brushes and there's a set that I have available to everybody. I'll leave a link in the description below and this is always available. And this is my essentials for 2022. Um, and it's been upgraded since the original essentials set. And in that set, I have essential starts, which just makes brush making a lot faster because we have a variety of different brushes that are meant for brush makers. So they do a variety of different things, including there's a texture starter and there's stamp starters. And there are these uh, along the path and parallel to the path starters. So I'm going to select this parallel to the path starter and I'm just going to gently slide it over to the left and tap duplicate. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it into, I have a set here called demos and I'm just going to drag and drop that into my demo set there. Okay. And now it's ready for me to modify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my ranch, make sure that I've tapped add and then tap copy canvas. Okay. And then we're going to go back to that brush and we're going to tap it to open it up inside of the brush studio. And the brushes, the essential brushes will tell you whether it's the shape or the grain that we need to replace. In this case, it's the shape. It, and then you'll see that the image says, replace this image. <laughs> so then just tap edit, whoops, and then import and then paste. And it will go in just like that. Now, if it comes in looking the opposite way, um, that's okay. What you can do is use two fingers to invert it. Just tap two fingers down. And what you want is the shape that you care about to be white. And that will be where the color um, is uh, displayed when you're out in the canvas using the brush. Um, so, okay, once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and tap done. Now, one of the things we want to look at is how, how this looks in terms of the stroke path here. So these are a little bit farther apart than I'd like. So I'm going to kind of bring that back in and it looks like somewhere around 52% uh, according to the, the drawing that I've made. We'll keep them sort of linked. So let's go ahead and test that. We're going to go ahead and tap done. And then I'm just going to add a layer on the very top here. I'm going to just add white 
there. Well, okay, or light green. <laughs> and then I'm going to create another layer on top of that. And then I'm going to choose a definite brighter color. Let's see. Um, let's just go ahead and go with blue. And we're going to Let's see, that's our new brush. Let's see, where, how big do I want it? Maybe somewhere around there, like 17%. And let's just test it out and see if it's, you know, if it looks the way we want it to look. Oh, that's really cute. Awesome. So that looks great that way. And then if we wanted to do it as a stripe, we just hold it and then bring it like that. So yeah, these look, this looks great. This would be a great addition to the other brushes. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I've opened up uh, my uh, example for the brushes that are available for free for June. Um, and be sure to get those before they are not free. They are going to be going into the shop in July. Anyway, let's go ahead and try our new brush with that. I'm trying to think what color would look good. Maybe just white. Um, so let's see, double tap white. And then our new brush. Oops, done. Let's see, maybe a little bit bigger here. And then let's just draw it right in here. Yeah, that's great. So you can see there's a variety of different brushes and then the one you make. <laughs> um, and actually, let's make that smaller. Now that I think about it, maybe I do want it tinier. I think maybe it'd look really cute. So let's just go like that, like right in there. Oh, yeah. Well, you could do anything you like, obviously. But we've got some sequins, some leaves, some uh, a woven pattern, and some stitching, and just a variety of different things inspired by a variety of different kinds of ornamentation that you might find in clothing around the world. Um, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope your day is amazing.